Talk about a special gift for the holidays. One big ticket item that seems to be on a lot of lists this year is the pickup truck. Why are they so popular? With Lee Cowan, let's go for a drive. More and more and more cars. We Americans have long had a crush on our cars. Some trucks are good for only one thing, rough work. But when it comes to a really committed vehicular relationship, well, it's the pickup truck that sets our hearts aflutter. Turns out things like towing capacity and payload can really get the motor running. Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Trucks represented about 20% of U.S. sales this year. That's a tad more than cars. In fact, pickups account for the top three of the five best-selling vehicles. Take Ford's F-Series. It's been America's best-selling truck for over four decades. Just how important are they to Ford's bottom line? We asked CEO Jim Farley. F-Series is the second most valuable consumer product by revenue behind the iPhone. It is enormous. This is the modern horse. It's your reliable partner you can do work on, you can have fun with, you can kind of go anywhere. It just fits an American lifestyle. Pickups are the most popular in the states you'd probably expect. Texas, Wyoming, North Dakota, and the like, where construction, ranching, and hauling are a way of life. But there are plenty of coastal pickups now, too. And look at this, though. We'll steer clear of pickup politics here, but suffice it to say that you can't get sales numbers that big by selling pickups in red states alone. It's millennials, according to J.D. Power, who buy the most new trucks these days. And yes, some have no desire to haul anything more than a bag of groceries. Oh, actually, that was supposed to be for me. I love it. I don't need them for anything. I could drive anything. I just get it. I just drive a game from point A to point B. The number of women interested in pickups has been growing almost every year, too. Do you need a truck, or are you just like the way they look? Um, I like the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> the mid-sized truck market is heated up too, like Chevy's Colorado, Ford's Ranger, GMC's Canyon. They may look smaller, but they can be just as capable. Introducing the all-electric Chevy Silverado. And of course, all-electric pickups are no longer a fantasy anymore. While they're far from a farmer's friend just yet, it is another sign that pickups aren't going anywhere. But when it comes down to the question of why, just why do we love something with four wheels and a bed so much? Well, it turns out that's a lot like asking people, why do you like hot dogs at baseball games? Pickups are Americana. And just like hot dogs, you better not get between a hungry fan and their mustard. I've seen more bar fights over what truck you drive than I've seen anything else. <laughs> I mean, it's competitive, right? There's no country song about a Camry. That's Tim Esterdahl, publisher of Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, who says buyers seem especially keen on the idea of keeping up with the Joneses pickup. We want to bragging rights, right? So, you know, when Ram came out with their new truck, uh, Heavy Duty has a thousand foot pounds of torque. The sign was 15 feet high with numbers. <laughs> 1,000 pound feet of torque, you know. And I mean, we wanna, I wanna, you want to buy that truck and say, yeah, I got 1,000 foot pounds of torque. You know, I'm never going to use it. I have no idea how to use it, but I got it. That's the Ram 1500 TRX. You likely won't be boulder crawling on the way to drop your kids off at school. Nor will you be flying over traffic like this. But you've got to dig deep to own one. They start around 80 grand. Holla, holla. GMC's all-electric super truck, the Hummer EV, costs over 100 grand. You might not need all of its off-road capability, but to people like Rika Williams, that's not the point. It's not about what you need. It's what about it's about what you like, what you enjoy, what you deserve. Yeah. OK? And you know what, honey? I deserve this. <laughs> the biggest capacity many trucks boast of these days is the amount of luxury in tow. 
was a press conference once for Ram, they're launching a new truck, and like, I went to the CEO and he's done. I said, I didn't know you're talking about a full-size truck or a Chanel handbag. Quilted leather, heated steering wheels, panoramic sunroofs are all riches of the modern truck that have some old-school Texas ranchers like Pat Mackey scratching their farmer's tan. I mean, I've never seen anybody stand up in the sunroof and rope a cow on the top of one, so I don't think you need a sunroof and all that stuff in there. While big may be better on a ranch, maybe not in traffic. Some of the biggest trucks these days have grills so blunt and so high, critics worry they create a blind zone, dwarfing bicyclists, pedestrians, and especially children. They look like they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year, are they? Well, over time, they have gotten bigger. Yeah. The cabs grew, two rows of seats, better for families and transporting people. That's Ford executive Ted Canis, who points out that many of today's trucks, including Ford, have technologies like pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection and automatic emergency braking. All pretty high-tech stuff for a truck. Dodge gives you toughness, traction, and a ton of know-how in four-wheel drive. The trucks we used to know were as homely as a hound dog. Dents were character. Rust offered a two-tone look. And the dash, well, that was just a place for smokes. As our longtime Sunday morning humorist Roger Welsh once observed. Most of the stuff in real pickup trucks should be unusable or unidentifiable. Real pickup trucks have things growing in the bed or in the cab. Our three-quarter ton Chevy Cheyenne is actually pulling 187 tons on this level road. That legacy is still present. Trucks remain the symbol of Dust Bowl determination. But these days, you can dress them up or dress them down, drive up walls or drive down Wall Street. This is great. <laughs> Not bad for something Henry Ford once envisioned as simply a way to haul some hay. Way to go. 